What's up everyone, it's Tom Spencer here and today I'm gonna to be walking you through exactly how you set up Google Ads conversion tracking for your Shopify store so that you can measure the results of your uh, Google Ads campaigns. Now the reason I wanted to do this video is because there's quite a lot of confusion out there about how to set this up in a way that works uh, and also in a way that doesn't take forever. So if you do a Google search right now, you're going to find uh, processes and guides about how you go and create individual conversion events and then copy and paste loads of code snippets onto your website um, and, and do so all sorts of things to try and set this up, um, which takes forever and what I find doesn't really actually work uh, that well either. Um, but actually, there's a much, much easier way of doing it. It takes literally five minutes. It's almost a one-click setup. Uh, it's completely free um, and it just works really, really well. So I think you might get some value from this. So first off, I'm going to go to uh, my Shopify store and then I'm going to head over to the App Store and I'm just going to search for Google. Then I'm going to search for the Google channel, which I can see right there, and I'm just going to add the app. Uh, and then I'm just going to add that sales channel to my store. Next, I'm just going to connect my Google account to the particular instance of this application. And there you have it, we've hooked up our Google Ads uh, account to our Shopify store. Then you're gonna have to go through a few very, very quick uh, requirements, which is basically the policies that Google have uh, for you to be able to advertise with them. Now you should have done this already if you are uh, advertising, if you're just setting up, that's fine. These are basic things. So I'm just gonna run through a couple of them now. The first one is adding a refund policy in terms of service. Now um, Shopify actually makes this really, really easy for you. You can just click create template on all of these and it's just gonna go ahead and uh, create a template for you, um, uh, you know, it just takes no time at all so go ahead and click save obviously if you want to go into detail with those and create proper ones uh, there are services online that you can do that but for now we're not going to cover that in this session so the next thing to do is to confirm your payment methods are visible on your website. That's just literally confirming. If they're not, I'd go ahead. I'd recommend going ahead and make sure they are. Um, that's just a case of um, enabling um, uh, your payment methods in the footer of your page. Um, uh, we're not going to cover that today. If you are struggling with that, then please reach out to me and I will show you how to do that. It's very, very simple. Uh, also, we're just confirming that we have contact details available on the store. I'm just going to go ahead and click that one just to get rid of that error. Okay, great. So the next thing we want to do is just hook up our Google Ads account, which is already connected to here, or it's already kind of found, so we say. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click connect. Now, what's happened there, I'm just going to click confirm details, I've added billing. Now, what's happened there in that instance, when I just click connect, um, the magic has actually happened already. So if we head over to our uh, Google Ads panel, uh, I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to go to tools and settings, and then I'm going to click on conversions. And I'm just going to refresh the page here. And there we have it. It's automatically created all of the conversion events that we're going to need for our Google Shopping campaigns. Uh, it's automatically added all code snippets, everything that you're going to need so that you can successfully track and manage and report your Google Ads campaigns really really simple um, you know you don't need to have any kind of technical skills to have done that um, so hopefully you've got some value from that one thing that is worth mentioning here is the include in conversions column now this is where you would have a yes if you want to actually show that in your campaign metrics so I've only got this set up to have a yes next to purchase because I only care about people purchasing I don't want to uh, have my campaigns optimizing for anything other than a purchase but obviously you can amend that and change that and it's useful to know that that's there. Now, if you want to uh, speed up the process that this verifies itself, in other words, confirms that it's actually working, you can just go to your store uh, and just carry out one of these events and it will, uh, uh, within sort of three hours, it will come back and it will actually update that event. So I found that this is by far the best way of setting up Google Ads tracking. It's really, really quick. Uh, it works every time um, and it means that you can kind of uh, not get bogged down with any sort of technical side of things at all. So as I say, hopefully that's been a value uh, for you. If it has, please uh, uh, comment below um, and um, smash the subscribe button. Uh, it really does help. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers for this channel. Um, and so if you want to see more content like this, then, then please go ahead and do that. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in the next video.